Darren, it was defeat on Tuesday night at Oldham, but it was a performance where we were on top for large parts of the game. What were your reflections two days on? Um, exactly that. I, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a good game. Actually, I probably didn't, I probably didn't come across um, after the game, but I thought it was a good game. Um, very, very different Oldham team to the first team we played here. Um, very different way of playing. Um, I thought it was interesting the the five defenders that they picked almost a compliment almost a compliment um, and it was tough yeah it was tough to break down but you know I, I said on the evening emotionally that I thought we dominated and right here right now after having all the statistical data through and things like that yeah I still thought we dominated um, could have been a lot more potent and uh, um, accurate in those final positions. We had some really good chances, really good chance. Podgy's volley's a better chance than I thought. Um, Ince's his header at the back post. He has to. Rowan has to score. Um, and Lofthouse's drive inside and. Subsequent shot. I quite like the way he took the shot. Lofthouse. He took it with the outside of his foot. That showed uh, good appreciation. <clears throat> Lots of corners. Much more possession. Um, so it, sometimes you can statistically win games without actually winning the game, and that's, and that's what we did, unfortunately. But no, brilliant. Nice to go to Boundary Park. It was good atmosphere. Brilliant football club. Spent a lot of time at Oldham with Lee Johnson. When he was manager, so it was nice to. Uh, it was good to go back there and play. You know, it's a proper football ground, proper football club. Um, I thought the players. Um, uh, yeah, I, I still um, um, showed quite a lot of um, empathy for the players. I thought they should have been getting on the bus with points. Um, but hey, listen, say la vie, that that's what a campaign does. And we have ten games left of the season now. Six of those at home. Um, Start with Maidenhead on Saturday. We lost there early in the season, but what can we expect from them on the weekend? The toughest of toughest games. They're, they're, they're Alan and Ryan do so, so well. Uh, and the one thing I've never done is underestimate Maidenhead in any way, shape or form. In its you know, status, in its history, in its current form. In its, the current form is better than our current form. Um, we've got some good players, but you know they do. Um, they do work very well together as a team, and um, everything is about that for them. It's about the, the sum of their parts, and they've been playing very well lately. We all know what they, uh, how they played against Wrexham last weekend, and that's by no mean feat to take points off them. They took Notts County to you know a really uh, tough game at their place, four three. Um, so yeah, really tough, tough game and. Personally, my record against him is is not very good, so we're going to have to look at this one a bit differently, I think, and I think we need to look at this one in a little bit of isolation and, and maybe have to adapt because it seems to me now going back to the 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 system Oldham um, implemented on uh, Tuesday, lots of teams are adapting to us, which is um, which is great. Um, so we might have to be a bit more flexible this weekend, maybe change some of the qualities and attributes of the team, maybe change the way the team looks and the shape of the team. Um, but we'll we'll come to them conclusions before the weekend. Rhys Brown is back from suspension now, and how's the rest of the squad looking for availability? Wise? Well, at the moment, currently, <clears throat> um, Rhys will be the only addition. Um, be a be good to have him back. Just felt we've lacked a little bit of teeth lately. Um, I think the last time we scored two was at Bromley against Bromley, and obviously Reese was Reese played and, and and got sent off in that game. But I just think we lacked that little bit of um, potency in and around the box, and Reese has been good at that for us. You know, the, the facts are. There for everyone to see, so having him back will be uh, very welcome. Daly is at least another month. Wilkinson will be close. 
Um, Cox will be at the end of the month, which is great news for us. Um, Hess and Tyler will, will be a while. Will probably be more than a month. Uh, so we, so we've, you know, we've we've had that spell for the first time, really. And it comes to everyone at some point, um, and it just seems to have um, happened of late to us. But no, no, no. As you saw Tuesday, the players will be um, very enthused and energetic going into the game. And if the supporters can help us in any way, like they did Tuesday, then we'll hopefully be in for a very good day. Well, thank you for your time and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.